Hey guys, in this video, we're talking about Class D or Delta airspace. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Art here off the Dome Media Group. And this one is all about Class D or Delta airspace. Now, just as a reminder, Class B airspace or Bravo is the largest airspace. The next step down or smaller will be Class C or Charlie, and even smaller is Class D or Delta airspace. Now, Class D or Delta airspace is controlled airspace, just like Class B or C airspace, which means you need authorization before you can leave the ground. Now, just like Class B and Class C airspace, there is no published time as to how long it will take to receive that authorization to fly in Class D or Delta airspace. Again, it's recommended that you make your request 90 days, at least 90 days in advance of when you will need that authorization. No! The altitude is from the surface upward towards a specific altitude. There are no shelves like Class B or Class C airspace. And Class D airspace is shaped like a single cylinder. The outer radius of Class D airspace is variable, but is generally four nautical miles. Let's take a look at DuPage Airport in Illinois. First, we know it's a Class D airport by the dashed blue line. Second, we know the altitude from the number 33 in the dashed blue box. This tells us that the altitude of this Class D airspace surrounding DuPage Airport is 3,300 feet from the surface straight up in a single cylinder. Okay, this was just a quick overview of Class D airspace. In our next video, we're going to be talking about Class G airspace. And I have a saying, Class G is where you want to be. That was lame. If you want to learn more about the FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate, do what I did. Check out RemotePilot101.com. Link is in the description below. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and follow. Fly safe. Peace.